The Battle of Mondovi was fought on 21 April 1796 between the French army of Napoleon Bonaparte and the army of the Kingdom of Sardinia Piedmont led by Michelangelo Alessandro Colimarchi. The French victory meant that they had put the Ligurian Alps behind them, while the plains of Piedmont lay before them. A week later, King Victor Amadeus III sued for peace, taking his kingdom out of the First Coalition. The defeat of their Sardinian ally wrecked Austrian Habsburg strategy and led to the loss of northwest Italy to the First French Republic campaign. Operations This was the last battle of the Montenoc campaign in which General of Division M. G. Bonaparte's Army of Italy thrust between Feldmarschall Lieutenant Colley's 21,000-man Austro-Sardinian Army and Feldseemeister Johann Bulli's 28,000-strong Austrian Army. In the initial battles, Bonaparte savaged Bulli's army and drove up northeast. Then the French general turned his main attack to the west against the Piedmontese. Colley conducted a series of well-fought rearguard actions, including the Battle of Millesimo on 13 April and the Battle of Siva on 16 April. Nevertheless, Bonaparte drove the Sardinian army relentlessly westward toward the fortress of Cuneo and the plains of Piedmont. On 18 April, Colley retreated into a strong position behind the Corsalia River. Forces see Montenot 1796 campaign order a battle for a list of French, Austrian, and Sardinian organizations and units that fought in the campaign. Geography The Corsalia runs in a northeasterly direction until it flows into the northwest flowing Tanaro River near the town of Lesigno. In April the streams were swollen by snowmelt and rain which rendered them generally unfordable. On the west bank are hills that dominate the river crossings. These heights are Madonna della Cassette in the north, La Bicocca in the center, and Buongesu in the south near the town of San Michel Mandovi. The El Aero River and the town of Mondovi lie 5 kilometers to the west of the Corsalia. San Michel Mondovi Colli appointed General Jean Gaspard d'Arquet de Poisingo with 8,000 troops and 15 cannon to hold the position. Bonaparte planned to send the division of M.G. Jean Machu Philippe at Serrurier in a head on assault against San Michel while M.G. Pierre Augereau's division crossed the Tanaro to flank the position from the north. M.G. André Massena's division hovered in the mountains north of Siva, threatening a northwestward lunge to cut Collie off from Turin. M.G. Henry Christian Michel de Stengel was ordered to march the cavalry to support Serrurier. The division of M.G. Amadie Emmanuel Francois Laharpe watched the Austrians who were regrouping at Aquitum. Augereau's men failed to get across the river due to high water and five well-placed cannon. The Piedmontese repulsed Serruria's morning attack on the San Michel Bridge with loss. Later, some skirmishes of General of Brigade Jean-Joseph Guillou's brigade found an unguarded footbridge to the south near the hamlet of Tormandovi. Soon Guillou's men crossed in strength and began rolling up the Sardinian right flank. The defenders of San Michel broke for the rear, allowing B.G. Pascal Antoine Fiorella's troops to cross the bridge and occupy the town. In the confusion, Colley was nearly taken prisoner. Dykert was caught, but he escaped by bribing his captor. The hungry, badly paid, and poorly disciplined French troops immediately ran wild in the town, stealing food and pillaging the houses. A company of Swiss grenadiers in Sardinian pay, noting that the French were out of control, retook part of the town. Colley organized a major counterattack in the early afternoon which drove the Serrurias division out of San Michel, though Guillou managed to hold on to his small bridgehead. One authority estimates that the French suffered about 600 casualties while the Piedmontese lost 300. On the 20th, Bonaparte brought Massena's division forward while the other troops rested. To the northeast, Bewley still hesitated to mount a major effort to help his ally. On the night of 20 April, Colley withdrew his army from the Corsalia position, intending to fall back behind the El Aero River at Mondovi. 
After destroying the bridges and leaving their campfires burning, Collie's soldiers slipped away during the evening. At midnight, Bonaparte discovered that his enemy had decamped and mounted a rapid pursuit, using a ford discovered by some scouts. Battle. The next morning, Seruria's advance struck the Sardinian rearguard on the heights of Bu on Guess who drove it back on the town of Vico Forte. Serurier formed his conscripts into three heavy columns and covered them with his more experienced soldiers in skirmish order. Then, putting himself at the head of the central column, he led a charge against the Sardinians with Massena's division following behind. The speed of the French attack did not allow Colli to deploy his troops properly, nor were there any prepared defences. A few of the Sardinian units panicked and fled, leaving gaps in the line. Fiorella and Guillou's brigades, supported by BGL Zaya Domartin's brigade of Massena, converged on Vico Forte and captured it. The Sardinians at La Bicocca held firm until Dykert was killed, then they joined the disorderly retreat. Bonaparte's cavalry commander, Stengel took 200 dragoons across the Alero. But Colonel Chaffardin counterattacked with 125 Sardinian horsemen and drove the French back. Stengel was mortally wounded in the melee. When the French arrived at Mondovi, the governor managed to stall the pursuers for a time with negotiations. But he surrendered the town when fired on at about 6 p.m. Bonaparte forced the municipal authorities to provide large contributions of food to his hungry soldiers, so the town was not sacked. Results According to historian Gunther E. Rothenberg, Bonaparte's forces lost 600 killed and wounded out of 17,500. The Piedmontese lost eight cannons and 1,600 men killed, wounded, and captured out of 13,000. Digby Smith lists a strength of 15,000 for the French and 11,000 for the Sardinians, but gives no losses. A third source lists 1,000 total French casualties versus 800 Piedmontese killed and wounded, plus an additional 800 to 1,500 captured. Bonaparte ordered a vigorous pursuit of the defeated Sardinians. On the evening of 23 April, Colley asked for an armistice, but the French general ordered his troops to continue their advance. Bonaparte demanded that Sardinia hand over the fortresses of Cuneo, Siva, and either Alessandria or Tortona as the price of peace. On 28 April, the Sardinian government finally signed the Armistice of Cherasco, which effectively knocked the Kingdom of Sardinia out of the First Coalition. The next action was the Battle of Fombio in early May.